What's up guys, the Maestro Megatron here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a happy Thanksgiving. I know I did. I filled my ass full of turkey, cranberries, mashed potatoes and gravy, stuffing, all that stuff. And you can bet your sweet ass I definitely filled myself up with some beer. Anyways, this is a little uh, Halloween news update, little Halloween rant. You guys know how I love to make a rant. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to rant. Well, first of all, I want to say that uh, everybody's still highly anticipating Halloween Kills coming out next year, October 16th. I can't wait myself. This is going to be freaking amazing. This is going to be great. Can't freaking wait. And I'm a poet and didn't know it. But anyways, uh, latest news is uh, there's some uh, tweets and some uh, some literature going on around uh, online, on social media about uh, Jamie Lee Curtis um, Doing some book signings, doing some interviews, um, and uh, basically making negative comments about, this is from my understanding, making negative comments about Halloween fans and horror fans in general. Now, I kind of have a problem with that. It kind of makes me want to go on a rant because that's that's what's put you on the map. That is what puts you on the grid. That is what made you famous being in horror movies, and especially Halloween. That was your first ever opportunity in 1978, John Carpenter's Halloween. And, and for, for years after that, is, uh, that, that's what you did you played in horror movies. And from what I understand in, in some of these tweets is in, in, in some of this information online that I'm getting is uh, she she would be at conventions or she would be doing uh, book signings, you know, the, her little children book signings or her little women power books that she writes. And uh, people would bring up her, uh, would bring their kids, these parents would bring their kids up to... Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and uh, and say, hey, I'm a big fan. Halloween, thumbs up, two thumbs up. Praise God, praise Jamie Lee Curtis, blah, blah, blah. And my child here especially loves your work in Halloween. And I guess she has copped attitude and has, and has been shitty to these people saying like, what kind of human being are you to make, uh, make sure kids watch Halloween? What... My, I would, I would never have my kids watch Halloween. Why would you have your kids watch Halloween? It's so demeaning. She even used the word demeaning. It's demeaning as a parent to make your kids or to have your kids watch Halloween. Well, uh, uh, okay. Well, here, here's the thing on that. Uh, if I was a parent. And if I was some of these other parents, my 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 retort on that, my rebuttal would have been, well, you know what? We grew up watching your movies, watching Halloween, watching your other horror movies, and that's how we became a big fan of yours. We know you haven't always done horror movies later on in, in, in your career. You've done different other movies, but this is where it began for you. This is where it began for us to become a fan of yours. And 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 furthermore, I also heard that she's awfully snooty at some of these conventions, these, some of these Halloween conventions and signings. She's kind of snooty to the Halloween fans. Now, that's that's where I'm going to go ahead and go on a rant on that. Um, first of all, um, before Halloween 2018 come out. And I've already brought it up just a second ago. You were doing, you're writing children's books, doing children's book signing. You were uh, doing these these women strong willpower books, and that and that's fine. Do what you will with that. You know, I have no negative comments about that. Um, and you're also doing Activia 
yogurt commercials, okay? You were doing those. And that's just about all that you were pretty much doing until some good directors and some good writers came up with Halloween 2018. And they called you, they got in touch with you, and now you're on board with that, and now you're back on the movie map. You're back on the horror movie grid map, and so you, you basically threw away your Activia, Activia yogurt, you threw it in the trash. Uh, you're not writing any more children's books, and you're not signing any more will, women's willpower liberation books no more. So now all of a sudden, with the success of that, and with John Carpenter coming back doing the soundtrack, you decided, oh, well, hey, let's go ahead and hop back onto the Halloween bandwagon. Meanwhile, I'm going to be shitty to fans that's been a fan of mine since 1978 Halloween, where I first began at 19 years old, and let's be shitty to them, but I'm going to hop back onto the, the Halloween soul train, and I'm going to get paid. Now, see, that's where I have a freaking problem with that, okay? Um... These scary movies are meant to be watched by young adults. These scary movies are meant to scare young children. And, and that's the whole point of scary movies. Yes, it's mainly directed. It's mainly uh, 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 centered toward uh, uh, adults. That's fine. Whatever opinion you have on that. But it's mainly centered around scaring the crap, scaring the shit out of kids, young adults, that's the whole premise of Halloween, scary movies, horror movies, if you will. That's fine. But you want to sit there and act snooty with certain fans because they're allowing their children to watch your movies, which puts you on the map when you were 19 years old back in 1978, and you were so worried you were going to lose the part in the middle of the making of it, but you didn't. So... You can be snooty all you want. Uh, I've read, even before this, this has been 20, 25, almost 30 years ago, I've read interviews in magazines about comments that you, you got kind of a shitty attitude anyways. Yeah, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis, I'm calling you out because that's what the Maestro Megatron does. I call people out. I call YouTubers out. Uh, I, I'll call any actor, actress, any director, executive producer, your 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 blue purple headed granny. I don't care. I don't care that I'm the most hated man on YouTube. I don't care. I'm still. I'm not scared of anybody. I'm not scared of anything. I'm still gonna give you my freaking opinion on everything and what anything goes on any movie, any activity, whatever. So, yeah, um, certain quotes and certain tweets that, uh, that's, that's been going on and on, on other YouTubers, uh, channels talk about, uh, at one of her little children's book signings that, Hey, you know, I'm a big fan. Sign my book, please. And by the way, my child here really, really loves your work in Halloween. I guess she gave him a shitty ass look. Okay, referred to herself in third person. I gave her the worst Jamie Lee Curtis look that I could give this parent and blotty blah, 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 blah. Okay, anyways. But yet, you want to be snooty to these fans. You want to be snooty to these Halloween fans. But all of a sudden, you're back on board now that there's good direction, good story writing. John Carpenter's back with his son, doing the soundtrack and the music score direction, but here you go. But you want to try to be shitty. You want to be try you want to be fucked up and crappy about it. Come on. Come on, Jamie. You know better than that. You're you're not on a pedestal. Yes, you're you are the scream queen, but that's the point. That's what got you. To be the Scream Queen. That's what got you on the pedestal that you're on. Okay? Because you played in horror movies all these years. You played in the most fantastic horror movie in 1978. To begin this whole genre of anything. Remotely even close to, to any horror movie that's that's been produced in the past 40 some plus odd years. 
That's what puts you on the level that you're on right now. But you want to be snooty to the fans and you want to get on to the fans' parents that allow their children to check out the movie that puts you on the map, that puts you on the grid. I can't stress this enough. That is fucked up. And then, that's fine. Uh... I'm going to go ahead and make a bold statement. This franchise, the way the direction and the way the writing is going right now with Halloween and with Halloween Kills coming out and Halloween Ends coming out, this franchise at this point, since you're not the whole brother-sister bullshit thing going on now, it could actually do without Laurie Strode. It could do. It could survive and do without Jamie Lee Curtis now. So I wouldn't get too cocky and confident and things that you say or do, because uh, this franchise now, the way that it's going, the way that the franchise and the direction's going, it could do without you now. Quote the maestro Megatron, nevermore. So, look, look, look at the movie now. It, it could do without Lori Strode. There is more, there is other protagonists now in the picture in the storyline, in the plot lines, there, there's more to it now rather than just Laurie Strode. So go ahead and keep being shitty. Go ahead and and, 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 and keep talking shit and, and being shitty and snooty to your fans because uh you your your little locomotion your little your little train is coming to a slow halt. Slow halt. Of course you probably already know that, and that's probably why you're acting the way that you're acting. But that's cool. And uh, on another note before I go here, <clears throat> there's another uh, YouTuber out there, Morgan Chats, talking about what's the purpose of Halloween, what's the purpose of Michael Myers now that the brother-sister storyline doesn't exist anymore. What kind of a freaking moron are you? I'm calling you out now, you idiot. Well, here's the thing. It's not necessarily that we want to see the brother-sister storyline anymore. Us true Halloween fans, us true Michael Myers fans, want to see Michael Myers lurk and stalk around and kill people. You idiot. That's what we want. Us true Halloween fans, us true Michael Myers fans, we want to see him walk and stalk and lurk around in the dark and kill people. That's what we want. It's not the fact that he made a comment. What's, what's the purpose now? They're not brother and sister anymore. <laughs> You're a freaking idiot. I believe his name's Morgan Chats. Yeah, I'm calling you out too. I'm the maestro Megatron. That's what I do. I call out people. I'm the most hated man on YouTube. That's fine, but I'm also the most watched. Give me some views. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just here taking up for the common man, I'm taking up for the Halloween fans. I'm taking up for the Michael Myers fans, the true Michael Myers fans, not not the so-called Michael Myers fanatic. I approve this message. No, no, nothing like that. Come on, guys. Anyways, I enjoyed doing this video. I enjoyed informing you on uh, what's going on with that. No, uh, no real updated news for Halloween Kills. We're just uh, anticipating. I'm sure they're doing the editing. All the production and the shooting is done. And we're just waiting for uh, October 16th of 2020 for Halloween Kills to come out. It's going to be huge. If any news, anything breaks or leaks, you can bet your sweet ass. I'll be here drinking a beer and I'll be informing you on the much needed information that needs to be done to give you the information. Anyways, I'm the Maestro Megatron. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to my channel and uh, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.